Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Just as you see, just as you finally gain the upper hand, it manages to find a way to make an FTL jump. Sounds good. We've lost that drone. We have so many drones and missiles, just a ridiculous number. Um, let's take these offline for a second, fill up the oxygen tanks very quickly. And once you get back into the med bay, you guys in the teleportation room. That looks pretty good. Okay, he's heading up here, so we'll go there too. Only about half health, so hopefully we don't have any more problems with these missile launchers. Chase down the flagship, discover it is heavily damaged. Okay, now this one, um, this defense drone might be worth putting up to shoot down some stuff. But I think we'll be okay. I don't, I don't really know. They only have one, two, three, four, five... You know, I think I'm going to do the same thing as before. Let's immediately teleport in our Mantis onto the missile launcher. Get the... Ah, boarding drones. It's annoying. We'll just let him shoot away at it. It's fine. Actually doing pretty good. Hull is kind of weak. Ugh. And let's power up the cloaking a little bit. Turn oxygen offline for a moment, get level 3 cloak, and let's cloak through all this. Oh man, and they're actually down to no shields right now. This would be a perfect opportunity to use the beams. Come on, keep those shields down. Keep them down. Keep them down. Keep them down. Okay, they're all gone, so let's do it. Let's go with the halberd beam on... Uh, this layout's not that great. Um, let's just do this. I want to shoot these people. So, zap them. Get them kind of weak. Take out the shields as well. Okay. Um... call you to. Yeah, in the previous playthrough I actually really aggressively killed the drone, but that just causes them to shoot more. Cloaking will be up just in time. Although I don't think we're going to need it. We've already won. Easy peasy. Okay. Alright, so now let's go ahead and repair that hole. Make sure we get some power to the oxygen again. In fact, let's get that up up and replenish nice and quick. almost ready to go. I think I'm actually just going to engage the flagship with only a third health. Um, not too worried about him being able to hurt us. We've only lost about one-third in two engagements, so we should be okay. Let's give it a shot. See how we do. We definitely don't need that much power to the oxygen, though. And there's a super shield, so we're going to want to do an anti-ship drone right away. Keep the ion blaster firing. people have teleported in. We'll go fight them. Let's cloak through those missiles for the most part. Oh shoot, and he's just done his um, shoot, the big huge thing. We need more power to the evasion. Why is my evasion down? 35%. Seems like it should be higher. Okay, well, go help fix that. Let's blow the air vents here. Ugh. A little bit of hull damage. 
Okay, super shields are down. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I should take this a bit more serious. Yeah, I think I'm going to teleport away. Let's head back to that store, get repaired. Or... We've got time. I'm going to get out of here. Still have those intruders to deal with. Let's get full power to the med bay. Although we did weaken the flagship by taking two of his crewmen. Plus we killed two over there. So that's good. Okay, everything's looking good except for doors. And we're pretty clean, we're looking good. Let's go to the store, get repaired. Fix all. Thank you, much. Automated reloader. I wonder if I can have two of those. Let's try it. Well, I can. I don't necessarily know if it really... That's a pretty s small little length thing. Hopefully it does actually make them that much quicker. It's pretty neat if it is. Alright, so now we'll go engage them again. And this time I think we'll have a much better position than in a much better position than we were before. We only have three crewmen. It's not very likely to send them over on a suicide mission, I hope. Unless he's a retard. Hey, he is. <laughs> Alright, well, we, we can't even teleport over yet anyway because of his super shield, so we'll just take this opportunity to kill the only two remaining crewmen. Aside from that guy. And we will hopefully evade those missiles. Yep, good, good. Be part of the medbay. Get the cloak ready for the first wave of big guns. Let's cloak through that. Shields are down. Now the halberd beam, hmm, let's try to take out that weapon, that, and then this is the one that's good on systemless rooms, so let's try to hit a few of those, maybe like that, not bad. And we win! Yeah, this NG playthrough is very, very easy compared to before. Thanks to the valiant efforts of the Taurus, we have successfully won. Great, let's take a look at the score. 42-77 compared to <laughs> an improvement of 37 points over the Kestrel. So, that's nice. He defeated 48 ships, 102 beacons... Session, how does this work again? So session records, session stats. Okay, so, all right, I understand now. So the yellow are things that I have done better. So we collected 2370 scrap. The, uh, no, wait. Am I reading it backwards? Session records. These two numbers match, these two numbers match, and these two numbers match. Okay. These are my stats from this playthrough. And these are the records. So these are new records. Yellow is a new record. 2370 was the most scrap collected. And I actually collected less scrap on this playthrough, surprisingly. Considering how easily we were playing through and we had the double scrap arms. Um, Lombard survived 107, 111 jumps. Good job, buddy. Right, so, okay, well, pretty good. Um, as far as achievements go, still got to beat the boss on normal, unlock every ship, collect 10,000 scrap, defeat 1,000 ships. There's a bunch of other stuff, too. 
Technophobia, living off the land. No red shirts here. <laughs> Hit every room of a ship with at least one beam in under five seconds. That's cool. Defeat an enemy ship with all of your crew aboard it. <laughs> Just send everyone over. That's funny. Use the weapon pre-igniter augmentation to destroy an enemy ship in one volley before the enemy can get a single shot off. I'd love to do that. Have a single boarding drone. Kill four crew members on one ship. Wow, that would be... How would a single guy do that? Fail to evade five shots in a row with a fully powered and upgraded engine. Have every square of an enemy ship on fire simultaneously. Sweet. And then empty the oxygen. Net level less than 5% of a non-automated hostile enemy ship. That would be a really cool way to win, too. Just shoot down the oxygen and wait. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, we've won. So um, if we head back to the hangar, we can see that we've got... Uh, what do we have now? I didn't unlock any new ships, but we did get... Uh, what do we get? I really didn't get any closer to unlocking anything. So, still, fun way to play through. So, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again in the next playthrough. Or back on Crusader Kings 2. We'll see. Thanks for watching. See you soon.